what's happened here is that we found a strangler fig. And it's called a strangler fig because it has an extraordinary way of living. A bird deposits a seed way up in a host tree, a different tree from the strangler fig. The seed grows its way down, surrounds the host tree, and eventually kills it. This is, of course, one adaptation that suits this tree really well, but there are so many more. Let's take a look. In our travels, we've been to many, many diverse places. And guaranteed, everywhere we go, there are plants with special adaptations to survive. It's a really rad tree. So clearly, not all plants grow the same. All right, so if you think about it, all sorts of environmental variables affect which plant forms survive best in any given habitat. These include soil nutrients, sunlight, temperature, and access to water, just to name a few. So let's have a look at some different adaptations plants have to allow them to grow in their environment. Let's take trees as an example, like the ones growing here in a temperate forest. As you can see, they're growing fairly similar to one another as far as their trunks go, going straight into the ground. And their roots dive deep into the soil, spread out, and support a big tree like this. Now contrast that with trees in the rainforest. Now some of them look like those that we've seen up north. Pretty straightforward trees. But a lot of trees are quite different because they live in such a unique ecosystem. Where here in the rainforest, a lot of the nutrients are just in this very top layer of soil. So the tree's roots aren't very deep. But with such shallow roots, the tree needs a way to be able to support itself. So it has these big buttress roots or stilt roots like this kind of palm tree. Now these stilt roots are typical of the red mangrove where they live in this intertidal zone where water rushes in from the ocean and out to the ocean twice a day. So building a massive stem or a trunk like this requires a lot of energy. And here in the forest, it's a fight for access to sunlight. Now wouldn't it be great if you could grow tall without having to use all that energy to support yourself? Well, here in the forest, there are some plants which have a unique strategy for living in this environment. Lianas are woody vines, and they grow as structural parasites on trees. These fast-growing plants use the trees around them to support their weight as they scramble up to the canopy to get light. This way, lianas can grow fast and access light without having to grow massive and flexible trunks. At the same time, they're still connected to the ground to access water. Okay, so you might think you have to be big to survive in this battle for sunlight, but that's not the case. To be small requires some special adaptations. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> So to find my favorite specialist, we have to go up there. And here they are, the bromeliads. But what if your problem was that you had too much of a good thing? Like what if you lived in the water? Yes, there are some plants that live in the water and have evolved some unique adaptations for this environment. Let's go and have a look. Underwater, there are all sorts of algae and plants. What I'm looking for here are the seagrasses. They're actually flowering plants, but live completely submerged on the water. Just like land plants, they need access to sunlight. But here, the problem isn't supporting their weight or getting access to water. Their problems deal with staying afloat and dealing with salt water. You see, most plants couldn't stand living in salt water, but seagrass have specialized cells which help them regulate their salt balance. They have other specialized cells with air spaces that allow them to stay buoyant. This keeps them growing towards the surface to get sunlight. Finally, they have fine roots that keep them from floating away. 
and as an added benefit, they stabilize the soil, which makes the water quality better. So we've shown you some of the really cool adaptations that plants have to function and survive in this environment. Trees need support to keep them upright. Lianas use trees for support. Bromeliads skip being attached to the ground entirely, while aquatic plants have structures that keep them floating and from floating away. But we didn't cover all the unique adaptations of plants. Oh no, there's way too many to do that here. But you can discover them for yourselves. Look at the features of a plant and try to figure out how these features help the plant succeed in its environment. Remember, every forest on this earth remains full of unanswered questions just waiting for you to discover the solutions. So, until next time, I encourage you to never stop exploring your world.